Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and we are in the middle of the 100 days, 100 disease series where every day I discuss about a new disease. So today we will discuss about IgA nephropathy. This is also known as Burger's disease. Now Burger's disease is characterized by IgA deposition of in glomerular mesangium. So IgA deposition occurs in glomerular mesangium. And this will present as painless hematuria, painless hematuria generally within one to two days of respiratory infection. So within one days or two days of respiratory infection, the patient presents with painless hematuria. That means RBCs in the urine and reddish color urine, but it is painless. And the patient presents one to two days after a respiratory infection. So this is IgA nephropathy also known as Burgers disease. Now basically this is more common in children and young adult. So it can be found in the pediatric population, children and also in the young adult age group. Now may be detected in routine examination, urine examination and it can be presented as microscopic hematuria. So this generally presents as microscopic hematuria. Now another thing which I will mention is occasionally presents as acute renal failure. Sometimes it may also present as renal failure and acute renal failure or it may presents as nephritic syndrome, nephritic syndrome as it is having hematuria i told you in case of nephritic syndrome you get hematuria but in case of nephrotic syndrome you get the proteinuria but in nephritic syndrome you get hematuria so here as the patient is presenting with painless hematuria so it may also present as nephritic syndrome and it may occasionally present as renal failure also so acute renal failure. Generally, the patients present with painless hematuria after one or two days of respiratory infection. And basically, how the diagnosis occur? For the diagnosis purpose, we use renal biopsy. Renal biopsy is very, very important and we perform renal biopsy for the diagnosis of IgA nephropathy. Now, 20% of the patients have progressive disease. These 20 persons have the progressive disease and this led to end-stage renal disease. End-stage renal disease. Complete remission is not common in this disease. So you cannot get complete remission. No specific treatment is there. And for treatment purpose also, you may know that there is no specific treatment for IgA nephropathy, also known as Burgers disease. So basically we use for the therapeutic option we have ACE inhibitors. We have ACE inhibitors. So we can use ACE inhibitor. If significant proteinuria is there, we can use ACE inhibitor. And this is also for the control of hypertension. So for hypertension, we can control with the help of the ACE inhibitor. And other treatment can be immunosuppressive. So we can also use immunosuppressive, but the use of immunosuppressive is uh, regarded controversial. So these are only the treatment like ACE inhibitor and immunosuppressive. ACE inhibitors is used only for the control of hypertension and immunosuppressive use is controversial. So this is the end of this video. If you like this video, make a thumbs up and subscribe our channel if you are new to my channel. And please visit our playlist where we have many videos on medicine, on clinical anatomy, pathology. Watch all the videos on that and we have created a separate playlist for USMLE and PLAB. You can watch the USMLE PLAB series. So many videos are there. You can watch all that videos and you will have a great knowledge. I will ask you to watch the playlist uh, best medical videos that is a great playlist you can watch that best medical videos that is a playlist you can watch that and you will have a great knowledge and you will learn a lot from this channel thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video make a thumbs up and subscribe our channel if you are new to my channel thank you so much write a comment down below